Suspect is a Caucasian male, early 20s, about six foot three. He's found handcuffed at the door at the crime scene with five bodies. He had no identification. What's your name, son? Nick. It's all her fault. How I ended up here. Hey, I'm Vicky. You want to get out of here? Go back to my place? I don't even know your name yet. It's Nick. Nick what? We don't know. I've had his DNA in the database for years, but we can never match a name to it. This is the first time he's been brought in. But we've linked him to shit. 28 murders? Left a trail behind him. It's a shame we didn't catch him sooner. You still want to question this nut? This person. And yes. I'm very anxious to study him. He is quite an enigma. Pretty simple. I come from a successful family. My parents love me. I don't have an agenda. I'm not religious. I'm definitely not crazy. But uh, some people like to do sports or music. They like movies. Or they like to read books. I just like killing people. I happen to think drinkers are far more offensive than anything I do. They beat their kids and run down pedestrians regularly just because they can't hold the liquor. I get my jollies without hurting a soul. Except for that annoying fuck at the theater. I kill whenever someone annoys me enough. I call it my action potential. I have to reach my limit before I lash out. But once I reach it, I go blind with the joy of a fresh kill to be made. You'd be surprised how easy it is to get away with. Nobody expects to be murdered, or for someone else to be murdered near them. It's easy to miss something you aren't looking for, and I've never had any connection to my victims. I picked them on a strictly piss me the hell off basis. You know, the Bible says thou shalt not kill. It also says judge not. Touche. So, you're insane? No. That's not it at all. Not like you are. Oh, I think you are. How many have you killed? I don't know. I don't keep tally, that's disgusting. Do you keep track? Of course. Exactly. 73. I've strangled 12. I've stabbed 18. Poisoned 6. Only 6. Disemboweled 22. Decapitated 14. And 1 induced cardiac arrest.
You're not very adept at spotting red flags, are you? I was young and crazy. A lot of things happened that shouldn't have. What did they do? He pronounced mature like mature. I shouldn't even correct him. So what? So you gonna kill him over that? I have very strong opinions on things that don't matter. What the hell? So this is Vicky did it. You didn't kill the victims we found you with tonight. No, I totally killed them. God. Tell me what happened. You're leaving me! Yep. Who the fuck do you think you are? I'm Nick. Too unstable for me. Aha! I'm too unstable for you! I'm too unstable for you! Are you serious? I forgot you're so fucking composed. I hate that! Yeah, I'm gonna go. Oh, you're gonna go? I'm gonna make you go, Nate! I'm gonna make you go! Get the fuck away! Walk away, you selfish little bastard! I don't even need you! You hack! Nick, wait! Nick, honey, wait! I'm sorry. Whatever we did, we can fix it. I think it's gonna be another chance. Vicky! You're insane! Well, are you in the mood for one last thing? I'm really not in the mood for that. Are you in the mood for something else? Sorry, this is what I'm gonna do so much. Coke! I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'll do like five lines. Pokemon! I don't know how much Oh my god! How much cocaine? I love it! None of this is very nice. Kind of funny that they let us in here. I suppose it's fitting that this is where our rate of fun ends. What? You're gonna leave me after all this? That was the deal, wasn't it? gonna kill with you until the day we died. I was madly and crazy with you. And you ruined it with your stupid brain thoughts. Have fun in prison, Nick the Prince! Well, shit. Police! 
Shit! What the hell happened here? I killed him to death. I've got it from there. Are you sure? I like this part. Jesus, kid. Okay. There's a psychiatrist here who wants to interview you. Against my well-informed advice. I don't want to do that. If you don't, you're going to go directly to court without being able to plead insanity. And since this great unforgiving state enforces the death penalty, you're going to end up in the chair. And another thing. Every minute you spend with him is one more minute you get to live. Is he fat? I bet he's fat. Does he look like the kind of guy who carries around a lot of food? He's all yours. Thank you, Detective. Well, I, actually, I was hoping I could interview him alone. I'm afraid if there's someone else in the room, he might limit his answers. Do you realize how dangerous this kid is? Yes, I do. He's also restrained. L look, I'm not an idiot, and I'm an adult. I can assure you that I'm more than capable of handling the situation and the patient. Do you say so? Hello, Nick. My name is Bradley. I'm a psychiatrist. Do you know what that means? Look. I'd like to ask you some questions, if that's all right with you. So, we haven't found the girl yet? If there was a girl, you think he wouldn't tell us that to mess with us? Uh, he's not a liar. He's a disgusting monster. But he's honest. <laughs> yeah, we have some evidence. That we know she exists. We've been in her house. She wasn't there, of course. You think she skipped town? There's no way to tell. The place was a wreck. You, you wouldn't believe half of the shit we found there. Dildos lying next to children's books. There was cat food in the microwave and no trace of a cat. I mean, she's completely nuts. Holy God. Yeah. And we don't know where she was headed. And uh, Nick doesn't know either. Wait. Is the shrink still in there with him? Alone? He told me not to go oh, in there with him. Jesus. Jesus! What did you do? I'm sorry, were you not done with him? That's it, you creep! You're gonna fry! I have a good sense of wit. I hope you will like my last bit. For my last meal, I ate a great deal. Please enjoy cleaning my shit.